Hey there, Leo. Hope your guys' week has been good to you guys. Appreciate you. Happy Halloween to you. Let's find out what the cards are saying for you, what's coming out for your highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo. Time out, Leo, please. What are we talking about? Thank you. All right. Cinderella. Cinderella, come through. God has his hand on you. Got a new person here. Look at you tapping into some very beautiful energy for yourself. And you keep leveling up. All right. I like this for you. Okay. So this is definitely making sure that God making sure that you get what's rightfully yours type of energy here. So you're very protected. Whatever you are trying to manifest and attract towards you at this time is very much protected here. Overall energy for Leo. Overall energy for Leo. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to take these. They flipped on, right on my chest here. Okay. So there was some, like, death spells conjured up and sent your way first off. And God said, I don't think so. I don't think so. These endings that have been taking place in your life are making room for new things. And this is part of your Cinderella story. So, and you've got some beautiful abundance lining up for you. I am a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. And this is what you're doing. No more limits on you. And there's something about this powerful energy that you can tap in that is creating more awesome things for you. You have the power here to achieve what you want to do for yourself. And this is like letting go of any resistance, any control, anybody trying to control the narrative in your life. This is like disconnecting from these people altogether. So there's been some enemies that have been removed from your life. And there's been some enemies here casting death spells at you. But you're protected. It cannot touch you. It will not. It will prosper. Let me say that again. It'll form, but it'll never prosper. You've learned to let go of things. You're just being at this this energy of just, it is what it is. What's mine is mine. I'm not going to chase it. I'm not going to force it. If it's mine, it's going to come towards me type energy. And this is what's making you in your power here. And staying very dis disciplined and determined on whatever you're trying to achieve here for yourself. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. And you've been going hard and making a lot of improvements and working on things. So I'm telling you, there's something about your protection that circles around you. God is very much aware that people have been trying to send you attacks. And this is why. This envious energy. Uh-huh. God is aware of this. He's got his hand on you. He's watching everything. He's got all the receipts of what these people have been trying to do to attack you. This ain't pretty for these people. Leo. Let go of your inner thoughts. So there's something about them also trying to attack your mindset as well. Make sure you're staying in positive thoughts. Speaking good to yourself. Thinking kind about yourself. So this is like also like by you changing up your mindset. Understanding that you can achieve and attract anything that your heart desires towards you. This is what you're bringing towards you. Because you had people here trying to attack you in every which way, shape, and form here. Beneath the comic stereo is often the hottest heart. So you've got some people being exposed during this situation as well. You have some people here that wanted to claim you as this angry, nasty, conniving, thieving, lying, deceptive person. The true people that are in this energy that they wanted to, to frame you as, they're being exposed. There's people trying to cloak themselves as loving, caring charismatic people their facades are falling down their masks are falling off they're being exposed for who they truly are and you're being exposed for who you truly are which is this beautiful loving person Leo you're nurturing yourself you're connecting to your feminine side you're balancing yourself out you're no longer caring for those that didn't care for you you're no longer going out of your way for those that didn't want to do this for you. You're learning to give this back to yourself here. And this is bringing a lot of like empowered, disciplined energy. Like keep these boundaries up with certain people here. And keeping your silence. I am quiet. I am humble. I don't need the approval of others to validate my efforts or my worth. And you don't. That's liberating on its own. You had people thinking by turning their back on you, that was going to like break you. It didn't break anything. Now you're learning to stay silent. You're learning not to do that tit for tap for pe with people. Somebody was trying to silence your, silence your truth, trying to like attack your throat chakra as well. That didn't work. You got people being silenced. There's a bunch of people that are being silenced 
by attacking you, defaming your character here. I mean, these people did everything in their power to stop you, and they didn't stop anything. Let me get a message for, for Leo Universe. What does Leo need to hear, please? Let me get one. Thank you. We're always speaking to you and sending you messages. When you feel like you're alone in a situation, just know that you never truly are. We are reminding you to stop, look around, believe in something else, something more. We've got your back. Now, if that ain't empowering, what is? That's a strong message right there that we've got your back. You're protected. These enemies are not going to be able to attack you. They're not going to be able to, to achieve what they've been trying to achieve against you. If you want to be more successful in life, your priority should be to focus your mindset on all that you want to attract into your life. Trust that more is happening than what you can see. Many forces are at work in your favor. Allow them to help you. You've got some forces here that are backing you up. They want you to have everything that's rightfully yours. And they are protecting you as this is um, unfolding and manifesting for you. Everything is protected for you. My gosh. I'm getting chills. All right. Leo. Take the weight of the world off your shoulders, and this is what you've been called to do. You've had so many people want to dump their their judgments of you and others trying to form other people to form judgments on you. This is like taking the weight of everything off, who people expect you to be, what people want you to stay stuck in, like old patterns and trauma and pain. Get comfortable with that. Get used to us abusing you and neglecting you type energy. We ain't doing that anymore. We're taking the weight of everything off of our shoulders. We're stepping into a whole new energy for ourselves. Beautiful. Your sexuality is sacred, so keep your energies protected sexually here. Because you've got some very powerful energy, and people like to siphon the sexual energy of yours. Pay attention to anybody wanting to like, so there's like sex rituals happening at this time against you. If you notice that you're just sitting there minding your business and all of a sudden you get these strong sexual urges, that is people trying to siphon your energy sexually. They want you to like, you know, they want you to like please yourself so they can extract your sexual energy. Don't let them do that to you because that's what people has been trying to do. Protect yourself sexually. Not everybody should have access to that energy of yours. All right. Leo. Thank you. The shaman. Look at you. You're very powerful. Some people may label you as crazy, a lunatic, a weirdo. That's okay. We'll be that. We don't want to be like everybody else anyways. So you got some people here that wanted to make you look like you're just downright crazy. Needs to have their head checked. Needs locked into a mental ward. Needs medicated. You don't need none of, th none of those things. You're a shaman. You're a healer. And that says, am I crazy or is it just the moon? So you may be affected by moon phases. You may like when the full moon... Or the new moon, like any of the moon phases for that matter. But something for somebody with the full moon, like it really, you feel that. You may have a sleepless night or you just may feel very energetic. It's because of who you are. You're very in sync with moon cycles. Your energy is valuable. Protect it well. And I'm telling you, protect this beautiful energy of yours. Your strength, you, you have the strength to you. You are my Leos, of course. You're, you're, you represent the strength card. So you guys are very strong-willed individuals here. Learning to put up boundaries. You also are very nice, kind people. And people want to run over your boundaries because of that. It's very much, very, I can't tell you enough, keep up these strong boundaries and protect your energetic field as well because you got people trying to pull and tug on your energy at this time. Make sure you're calling your power back to you. Find those who inspire you to bloom. We want to get around people that want to uplift us, not pull us backwards, not try to pull us backwards because they can't achieve certain things, so they try to stop us from achieving things. I don't think so. We ain't doing that. This is you getting around your people, attracting the right people, understanding who your people are and who's not your people. Just because we start attracting new energies towards us, they'll come, but not every new person coming towards us is going to be for us. we got to use our discernment. The universe will test you to make sure you've learned from past connections, so make sure you're passing. And as I always say, if you don't know if somebody's for you, pull back until you do know. It's better to pull back and wait than go for it and like second guess yourself when you feel like something's off only to get your heart broken later on. Don't do that to yourself. You deserve equal give and take because you show up, you show up for people. Like you're the type of person that cares for people. You show up for people and you deserve that to, ha to have that back towards you and you haven't experienced that for yourself. All right, tell me about you, Cinderella. I'm telling you, somebody tried to stop you. Somebody did not want you to have something that's rightfully yours. Whew, somebody tried to stop Cinderella. 
They threw death spells at Cinderella. I don't think so. Your rebirth is what's awakening you to your Cinderella story, by the way. My gosh, somebody did not want you to have this. Tell me more. I'm going to take this top one. And I'll shuffle again. There's something here that is your birthright since you were born. It's like, I just heard inheritance, wealth. There's something here that is rightfully yours that somebody did not want you to have. Let me get another one because a bunch wanted to come out. All right. You've had to be patient and you've had to create some balances, balances for yourself. And you really had to get in there to heal to attract this Cinderella story towards you. And this is what's currently happening. <clears throat> Excuse me. A lot of you guys are my light workers, my shamans, my healers, my chosen ones, my anointed. And this is like energies that were working against you since birth here. And again, by you healing is what's bringing something rightfully towards you, yours. Does all this hard work that you've been putting in on yourself is like attracting this Cinderella story towards you. And boy, all the work that was going up against you to stop you from like attracting what's rightfully yours towards you. And part of your Cinderella story is bringing a King of Cups in. A loving, affectionate person that's going to be here for you. Okay, so you're getting like love, money, everything is what's coming towards you at this time. All right. There's a man here that didn't want you to have something though. So there's like a very controlling masculine energy here that didn't want you to have something. This could be a feminine in her masculine energy as well. Somebody did not want you to have what's rightfully yours. And somebody did everything in their power to make sure that they were going to be able to, to gain victory over the situation. They ain't gaining no victory. You're the one in control. You're the one having the success here. I'm telling you, somebody was plotting and scheming against you to stop you from going towards the Cinderella story. Stop you from attracting this towards you. There's a woman here that's very jealous, envious, doesn't want to see you have something that's rightfully yours. But it's still coming towards you. They can't stop you. Oh, they can't stop you. You get anything that you want. Love, your Cinderella story, all kinds of wonderful things happening for you. All right. There's a lot of emotional manipulation that was going on for um, people trying to attack you, trying to stop you. There's some kind of lies and deception that was said for these attacks to even happen at you. Turn about God. Man, that came out last time God showed himself. I think that was Capricorn Reed that, that I got that on. But yeah, you've got a wish fulfillment coming in. And God's making sure you get what's rightfully yours. And God has been making sure that you've been pouring back into yourself and loving, loving yourself and nurturing yourself during this process. He wanted you to learn to fully connect to yourself. Commit to yourself. Commit to your healing journey. Surrender. Let go. Let me remove my, these enemies from your path type energies. What's been happening? Because you've had a lot of selfish, greedy people that were circling around you. And God exposed your enemies. Sometimes these enemies that are exposed are going to hurt us the most. But they're exposed for a reason. God wants you to remove these people from your path. And this is what's happening for you. Tell me more. You've dealt with so so much like pain in your past and God's been here the whole time with you you've got some people that are very overwhelmed and burdened realizing that God definitely has his hand on you because these people that seek to attack you and try to take you out only end up burdening and overwhelming themselves more in the process here <laughs> and you are so protected there are some churchy people involved with this situation claiming that they you know they preach the word of God they go to church they they pay their, their dues. Some of them may even sing in the choir. But these people hide behind facade of God when they are trying to seek to destroy you in the process. Make that make sense. So God's tired of certain churchy people hiding behind this holier-than-thou word of God when these people are seeking to destroy you. Some of you guys, it's exes of yours. Wears crosses around their neck, goes to church. Preaching their vows, Catholic vows and Christian vows. And they ain't, if they were who they said they are, they would not be attacking you. They would not be gossiping on you and they would not be lying about you. God don't like ugly. You're this queen of cups. You're somebody innocent. And God knows your heart is pure. God knows that you've been um, 
taken advantage of and knocked over and beaten down and just dealt with so much trauma. And he has been there counting the receipts of everybody that's come up against you. So you're this loving, innocent person. And boy, are people panicking right now because they have been trying to like throw things off, like throw you off your path. Just try to throw you off. You can't be thrown off. You keep coming back balanced, stronger every time. So you could tell me that you could look back on your life and you've been through some pretty nasty things and you keep coming out on top every time. That is God with his hand on you. There's some people here that were paid to take you out and God said, I don't think so. I don't think so. Some breadcrumbers, some one-sided people. So there was people here from the past that had a chance to either take your side or go to the side of like all the, these wicked people hiding behind church masks. So these people from your past, they went to the wicked side where you stand firm in your beliefs. Man. And there is definitely like a certain union that God is protecting as well. Because somebody is calling in their person. It's part of the Cinderella story. God has his hand on your person right now. He's working on your person. And there's a union that God's bringing together. And that is protected as well. God is protecting you from certain people from your past that you were once connected to. That you thought loved you, wanted the best for you, when they did not. God, you have a lot of people that lied on you in the past. Man, God is not happy with these people. Tell me about this new person. What's this about? Tell me about this new person. What's this about? Okay, so first off, there's like new energies that have been trying to approach you, but certain people have been held back because God's very much aware of like new deceiving people trying to head your way because there's a certain union that God's been protecting for you. All other people that are trying to come towards you with phony facades are being held back protecting you're being protected from certain people that aren't for you because there was like a new energy that was invested into coming towards you but this is somebody that was trying to get in the way of you get in the way of what's rightfully yours your union your cinderella story your money everything that you've been working on there was somebody going to get in the way of that and it didn't work there is something about your actual person that has been held back until the timing is right because there's just like a lot of like protection going around a certain connection here with this new person something about this your person that you're meant to be in a union with there's something that needs to be removed from this person's path like certain like things that they've been invested in in the past there's things that this person is removing from their path in order to line up with your path is what's going on with your actual person and then there's other new person that's been trying to, like, there's like a new energy that's been trying to come towards you quickly. Like, they're demanding that they want this quick now. Let's do this. Don't let anybody do that to you. That is like a red flag. When somebody tries to rush you, it's a red flag. But somebody isn't working. So whoever's trying to come towards you with faulty, malice intentions, they're getting hit with a tower moment. Because this is what they were trying to bring to you, towards you. And God's like, I ain't letting that happen. There's a certain contract that you're meant to have with your person that is part of your Cinderella story. And somebody knows that things are starting to like come into alignment for you at this time. And that's why other people were trying to get in the way. For some of you, it's more than one person trying to approach you. And you've been staying in this independent energy. So you're learning not to fall for just anybody. That's part of you understanding and learning from your past people. You're very independent. You're being called to stay in this independent energy until you know the person is for you. And if you don't know yet, pull back until you do. Okay. Tell me about this cosmic energy that you have access to. You're very tapped into some very powerful energy for yourself. Queen of Cups. You're learning to trust your intuition. You're learning to navigate through your own pains, your traumas. You're, unle you're releasing and unlocking certain things within self. You had to learn to get back to you to unlock these gifts within yourself. Learn to really trust yourself with what you're feeling. If you feel called to do something for yourself or research something, do that for yourself. And always trust your intuition with people approaching you as well at this time. <clears throat> Somebody has a big piece of like a green crystal that's in their house or you carry a piece of green crystal with you. It almost looks like a dark green, like it's an emerald. So there's something here about somebody like meditating next to like a dark green crystal. That's for somebody. 
Tell me more. Judgment. Your awakening is making you really tap into some beautiful things. There's been somebody trying to like tap into your energy. And again, you're this innocent bystander here. Somebody's been trying to uh, tap into your energy and siphon your energy here. And they're under judgment. If somebody could have been doing this for some of you your entire life. And this judgment is now raining down on somebody. Somebody can no longer siphon your energy anymore. There's judgment coming. Okay, I didn't see that. King of Swords. There is like a masculine energy here, or this could be a feminine in her masculine energy again. Somebody is like very cold-hearted, very bitter, no integrity, no morals. Somebody wanted to like tap into your energy by some lies being said, and they were removed from your energy. They were revoked from your energy. And there's just a very heartless person, whether it's a man or a female here, that has been siphoning your energy, been still trying to siphon your energy, and they no longer can siphon it anymore. Judgment is raining down on somebody here. As somebody was trying to, like, purposely continue to, to um, siphon your energy by, like, triggering your inner child wounds. Somebody's been siphoning someone's energy since they were a child. I keep getting that. That's definitely for somebody here. And there is something very, like, the way that you're showing up right now, these attacks that have been trying to come up against you, it's amateur compared to who you are. So understand your power. And you are definitely lining up with a very big payout here. You are manifesting some, some high dollar manifestations here. And some of you guys are just calling in your birthright, your wealth even. And, oh, it's coming. And this is why someone's been trying to take action against you that much more. And the moon... Somebody's been conjuring up some, some black magic to attack you, to take you out. You're the one with the power here. And somebody's definitely in tune with some, like, moon cycles here. Man, somebody wanted you to fear yourself, run from yourself, and you're not doing that. You're fully tapped into the power that you're meant to have this entire time. And somebody was benefiting off of your energy. I keep getting that. Time out you leveling up. You keep leveling up. Beautiful. You're seeing through... Okay, so you're starting to see through the illusions, not only with yourself, you're starting to see through the confusions of what others were trying to like keep you placed in, and you are starting re to remove certain people around you. You're letting God remove these enemies. You're letting these, like, these enemies, if they're walking away from you, whether you're walking away or they're walking away, they're being removed. They have been exposed, and you are letting this happen. This is making you level up. Good. Tell me more. You're learning to let go of control here. You're, you're learning not to like do that tit for tat, try to like seek justice in your own hands here. You're learning to take action, but only within self. You're learning how to control yourself. You're practicing self-control. That is making you level up. And you're learning to hold back from things that you once would have not held back for before when you were operating out of your, tr your triggers and your trauma. You're learning to hold back now. And you're learning to let people... Just walk away and just let it be. It is what it is type energy. Beautiful. And you're just letting things line up for you as they naturally should and they will. You are so lining up with your destiny right now. Whew. And this is not letting anything from the past make you feel stuck or sad anymore. And this is no longer letting anybody try to circle around from the past and try to guilt trip you and pull you backwards. And because we're not doing that, we're going to level up more. This is no longer being okay with being dissatisfied in life. This is wanting change. This is being the change. And because you're doing this, you are leveling up. Taking action. Moving forward. Getting out of our heads. No longer overthinking things. No longer worrying about outcomes. That is making you level up. And no longer entertaining conflict and drama because people want to pull us backwards and they try to pull us in drama and get us to notice what they're doing to us. We're not going to give into it. We're going to keep it pushing. And this is making you level up. There is definitely some powerful things that you, you have called in for yourself. So you could tell me that in the past before you understood what, how your manifesting abilities were, 
You could have spoken something out loud and then forgot about it. And then later on, it, the answer comes to you. That's how powerful you are. You able to manifest some things. So we're going to watch what we're speaking into existence. We're going to watch what we're saying to ourselves, thinking to ourselves. Somebody is definitely attracting love towards them as well. This is part of your Cinderella story. There is love coming towards you. By you learning to give love to yourself, you are attracting love towards you at this time. You need to make sure that you're choosing the right person, though. Like, a lot of you guys have already been passing this test because, boy, have people been trying to come towards you. And some of these people aren't even making it towards you. That's how protected you are. I've got Scorpio, water, Sagittarius, earth, water, water, fire, Leo, fire, earth, water, Scorpio, air, water, fire, air, ooh, earth, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, and water here. Leo. Perfect match. You're going to know who your person is. You're going to feel it in your soul. So, and if you don't know, pull back until you do know, because your part of your Cinderella story is bringing a union towards you. You've dealt with enough heartbreakers, unfaithful energy, so you're very much equipped and aware to read people now. And if you can't, pull back until you can. You've got, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got some people from your past that you've dated that wanted to label you as the unfaithful one, the cheater, but that's not who you are. That's a projection of the past people. You're very admired for what you do. And this wasn't supposed to turn this way. Nobody wanted you to be looked at in a good lighting here. And God's making sure he puts you on a pedestal so the enemies will be exposed in the process. While you get to come up. So you're wearing your scars with honor. You've been through some things and that's okay. You're here to help others and inspire others to be the best versions of themselves as well. Somebody wanted you stuck at a crossroads, not being able to choose for yourself, needing validation from others to, to make sure you made the right choices for yourself. We're not going to do that anymore. We're going to fully be confident in what we've chosen for ourselves, and we're not going to care what anybody thinks about how we're living our life. We're living it for ourselves. Somebody was hoping you were going to fall for some kind of lusting tactics, and you're not. This are these energies that have been trying to approach you, and be aware of, still of new energies not everybody's been able to make toward make it towards you doesn't mean that they still won't come towards you so you got to see the lustful energies for what they are and boy did these past people wanted to say something about like they wanted to say that things sexually about you your past people did and the lies are being exposed as well on that tell me more somebody knows that something isn't going to work out Somebody knows that, they, so somebody is still trying to plan to come your way that's not for you. So see that for what it is. Somebody knows it ain't going to work out though. Somebody sees you celebrating. And somebody for sure thought that they had their, they thought that they had the victory in this, this situation. You're the one that's being victorious here. You're celebrating. Tell me more. Everybody's been waiting. Waiting for, for... For, for their point to be proven that you aren't who you say you are, that God isn't with you, but oh, is he? So these people are waiting around for nothing because you're exactly who you say you are. So these people aren't the ones who say they are. Everybody knows time is running out. You're, you're lining up with everything that's meant to be for you. It's very important to stay disciplined right now and... Anybody approaching you, I don't care if it's new or past people, anybody approaching you that doesn't feel right, pull back. Because you've got some really wonderful things happening for you right now. You have some past people here that wanted to label you as a narcissist. High maintenance, never satisfied, hard to please is what people are saying about you. But the actual people who are this, they're being exposed. Somebody knows that you're not on to game playing. Like, let me say that again. Somebody knows that you're on to the game players now. Because you're very much aware of them because you already dealt with them in your past. So we're going to see those game players for who they are now. This is what you're focused on, your abundance. Prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, a cash headed your way. Knowing your worth and knowing your value is what is attracting this towards you. And even love. Somebody wanted you to go backwards. They didn't want you to take action. They didn't want you to line up with your destiny. They didn't even want you to line up with yourself even. And this is still happening. The people that wanted you in this lacking energy, that's what they're in now. While you're stepping into the forefront, you're meant to be a leader. You're meant to stand out from the rest as well. And you're meant to be very confident doing so. 
you definitely going to be ruling your person's heart space. For some of you, your person could already be watching you right now. And you're letting that beautiful light of yours shine. And you're doing it unapologetically. Confident, successful, enthusiastic, optimism. This is what you've got. So much fulfillment coming towards you. And oh, the envy because how dare you? How dare you attract more? These people are jealous of the protection that's around you as well. It's almost like, why did God pick her? Or why did God pick him type energy? Well, there's your answer right, ne right there. By you asking that, God's not going to pick you. I mean, make that make sense. Somebody doesn't want you to read between the lines. And boy, are you. You're able to read people now. And if you aren't yet, pull back until you can. Because you definitely are the type of person that can read energies, read people for sure. Got some ghosters here that want to try to circle back around. And then you've had some new ghosters that were trying to play the do the same old dance with you that past people were doing. All trying to seduce you, thinking you're weak. You are not weak. Wanted to cast more doubt in you. This isn't working. These people know that they can't come towards you. That's what you're working on, your manifestation abilities. Power's been activated. Things are flowing towards you more beautifully, easier now. And you're a rebel. You're not meant to stay stuck. You're not meant to stay in environments that people try to trap you in. You're meant to bust out of those environments. Grow, evolve, become enlightened. And your isolation period is what taught you this. People tried to dominate you by isolating you. It blew up in their face. This is where you really embraced yourself, connected with self, connected with your gifts, your abilities. And you're never truly alone. And oh, are you a looker? God put, made you beautiful to command attention in the room. That's what this is all about. God wants you to be... He, he's going to use you as a testament and he made you something else, like attractive. Not only are you attractive on the outside, but you're beautiful on the inside here. You, you stir up some sexual feelings in certain people, but that's all they want from you is just sex. So it's very important not to let anybody toy with you like a toy. You're, you're, right, you're rightful person that's coming towards you. Yes, you bring out sexual feelings in them, but also romantic feelings. And it's very important that you understand... Who wants me sexually and who actually has feelings for me? This is part of your journey to learn through these behavioral patterns because you've already dealt with it in the past. And you're an alchemist, reviving everything that you've lost, everything that's been taken from you. You're attracting everything towards you and you're going to get paid back times 10 for the things that were taken from you. And everything, I mean. You make big things out of nothing at all. You make some powerful things happen out of thin air. And everybody's very much aware of your magical abilities here. True alchemist you are. Everything that seeks to destroy you only makes you more powerful. You use that pain as fuel. You find your purpose. You, you make prosperity out of it for some of you. It's, it's beautiful. Leo. Okay, so somebody wanted to bring up like habits that you had in the past. There's no way that God has his hand on her. She does drugs and she did this and she did that or he did this in the past. Okay, and your point is, boys and girls, what are you trying to what are you trying to get out here? I bet you guys are still on drugs though. You guys are doing all kinds of nasty things in the dark, but gee, don't try to come expose us when you're gonna be exposed with the truth, because God is watching everything that you guys do. We got some churchy people claiming to be church bible thumpers when they're doing drugs themselves make it make sense tell me more bunch of insecure broken people projecting their own insecurities onto you wanting you to be insecure not not for you to have any confidence don't let anybody take that from you got people here that don't even hate anything about you but they want to jump that bandwagon because that peer pressure is a mother effort i guess for you right that's why you're a great leader because you don't fold under peer peer pressure like these people do there's a love story unfolding for you as well and it's very important that you don't fall for the wrong person that will get in the way of your right person because somebody has been trying to come your way to play you so make sure you're seeing something for what it is some fake friends knowing that they effed up these fakers are all being exposed here in this process well hell yeah they are what they think was going to happen somebody thought that they had some kind of evidence to get you caught up 
somebody was for sure that they were going to be able to use something against you in the past here and it's blowing up in their face. Now we're going to just remove ourselves altogether from these energies because somebody wants to try to like communicate with you. Don't want to hear it. We're going to keep it pushing. We're setting the record straight. So we're going to continue setting the record straight and keep it pushing forward. Somebody is trying to run from the karma, the judgment that's coming. Somebody's trying to run from death spells. I'm telling you, God's been watching people throw death spells your way. This isn't good. People are very much in there. There's like a lot of scaredy cat energy with people trying to attack you. They're, they're afraid to move forward. There's something about these people that just, they're, they're feeling very uneasy. Their lives are falling apart because that's what they wanted for you. These people put on a show, they're fake, they're a facade, and they wanted to say that you're putting on a show that you're not who you say you are, but oh, are you? Somebody was hoping that they were going to be able to give you an STD or said that you could have given them an STD, that you have an STD. That was lies. Somebody was trying to keep this, this whole situation a secret with you. It's not working. Somebody has been trying to come towards you in secret Trying to make it seem like they want a new beginning here with you, but this is someone that has been trying to play games. It's not been working. And they've only been trying to plant some kind of evidence to make you look a certain way. But you already know the T. They can't get anything past you. You are definitely getting like downloads and warnings here about what people have been trying to do. Trust that. Leo. Got some people here that are trying to retreat. There's some people here that had a target on your head. This is payouts of money trying to take you out, and somebody thought that they were going to receive some kind of payout by taking you out. It's not working. It's not working. You're repelling that darkness, and God's making sure that nobody coming towards you tries to attack you. He's protecting you. And you need to do your part by protecting yourself from letting anybody have access to you. Tell me more. I'm telling you, God has his hand on your person right now. There's a significant union that he's preparing for two people to come together. It's very important that we don't let the wrong people get in the way of the two that are meant to come together. <clears throat> chain breaker. You've been breaking chains. And some of you, your, your person that you're coming into union is breaking their own chains on their end in order for it to come into union. Anything that has been seeking to, to keep you stuck and trapped... You keep coming back stronger. My content creators, keep working on what you're doing. Everything gets to go forward for you. If there was other content creators trying to get in the way of you, something was not granted. You get to move forward while other content creators, their channel's about to get jammed up for trying to mess with yours. So, tell me more. If you're thinking about starting a channel, go for it. And then you've got some family members here thinking that they were going to give you the silent treatment, thinking that that was going to get you to fold. It didn't work. You've got your own family members that wanted to say that you aren't who you say you are, but oh, are you? Some of you guys got churchy family members that wanted to pass judgment on to you. There's an angry man here, mad as hell, understanding that you cannot be stopped and you are who you say you are. It gets mad as hell watching your business bloom. Could be a feminine energy get pissed off because your business is coming up and someone else's business is being affected for trying to mess with yours. <clears throat> There's a woman here frustrated. Mad as hell because you're still just receiving everything. There's somebody here that's been in the background trying to attack you. Somebody knows it's the end because you can't be stopped. You're so protected. You are this gift from heaven. You are a blessing. You are a blessing to some and your karma to others. It depends on how they move towards you. There's so much money that's been paid out to stop you. People basically lost money trying to attack you while you're ready to receive. Then they thought gossiping would work to try to break you down, defame your character. That didn't work either. whole group of people got involved trying to take you out. Trying to attack your wounds, your child wounds, whether it's father wounds, mother wounds. Some of you, your own father had a hand in this. This is what you're doing. You're loving yourself. And you're outsmarting all of these enemies. They cannot come up against you. Man, these people are screwed. Leo.
Yeah, you got people want to say, you're just so sensitive. No, you're not. You're beautiful. You're empathetic. You feel people's emotions. That's part of your supernatural talents that you have. I want to say supernatural because the things that you're able to do, it's supernatural. Own that. Embrace it. We're not going to let anybody try to come back around from the past that wants to try to say, oh, it wasn't that bad. It didn't happen like that. I didn't say that. I didn't do that. You're taking that too seriously. Why are you got to be so sensitive? F people like that. They don't deserve to be in your energy. Those are the type of people that are taking advantage of you. We're going to leave them out in the past where they belong. So ghosters trying to come back around. And there's something about new ghosters that have been trying to come towards you and, and do the same things that past people have been trying to do to you. Don't let them do that. Somebody is hoping that you're going to get to know them to achieve something. But this isn't happening. You're not just getting to know anybody until you know it's your person. This is what you're working on. You're finding your magic. Understanding your abilities and the talents that you have. And you had to learn to get back to you to find these gifts and talents that are given to you naturally. You're unlocking a lot of abilities within yourself here. That's beautiful. And you have somebody trying to suppress your magic. Don't let anybody suppress your magic. Your dark night of the soul is what's bringing this magic towards you. You had to go through, find your own darkness through your light. Let me say that again. You had to find your light through your darkness. Now we're going to balance out the light and the dark side. Both are needed. By all means, we're going to stay in our light energy, but we're going to pull that dark side out if we need to put a mother effer in their place. So, and God loves you just because you are the type of person that fights for injustice. You don't like to see people get hurt. And that's why God loves you. You have a pure heart and a pure soul. Tell me more. Not falling for any passionate people. Like you got a lot of, there's something about people and their sexual desires with you. We're not going to fall for these types of energy because they like to siphon your energy sexually. We're not going to let them do that. And this is what's trying to siphon your sexual energy. These devils. A lot of you guys have already dated these devils. We're not going to fall for any devils, whether they're past trying to resurface or new devils. And you got some energies watching you right now. Uh-huh. They're all watching you. That's pretty much all they can do. Somebody knows that they can't get you floating around on cloud nine like they expected. Somebody was hoping you were going to fall for, like, love bombing tactics. Because you got a lot of admirers watching you. So. And this is who they really are. Womanizers. They don't take relationships serious. Some of them already have people at home they're connected to. And your, your, your light is what attracts people towards you as well. It's not only your looks, but it's that light that you have. So we're going to protect ourselves, protect our energy. And these people are just going to have to be in regret for what they've done. Touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Every tongue that rises up against me shall be condemned type energy. This is what's happening for you right now with all these people that got involved here with this plan to come up against you. All right, tell me what these people are doing, Leo. Leo. Cover up. Somebody's trying to cover up a plan to take you out. God saw it all. So God's aware that people have been trying to come towards you, trying to take you out. This isn't working. And they try to cover it up and try to backtrack. That ain't working either. Man, somebody wanted you to like take yourself out. Man, there's a lot of people that were trying to stop you in every which way, shape, and form. Wanted you to seem like you were crazy, making you think that somebody was after you, but they were after you, only for you to take yourself out. They were hoping that any of these plans would happen. Yeah, there's death. They wanted you to end your life, and they were definitely throwing death spells your way. They wanted you to unalive yourself. That, that attempt didn't work, and then they were going to send somebody towards you to take you out as well. That plan didn't work either. My gosh, tell me more. Your power supply. There's, I'm telling you, I felt that at, at when I was clarifying this this cosmic energy of yours. There is a person here that's been siphoning your energy since you were a child, and now that you're protecting your energy and you're learning to, to like remove yourself and, and protect your, your energy field, someone can't siphon your energy anymore. You had a lot of people. Especially the people in the past that you connected with sexually, they were siphoning your energy. They felt like they felt they felt invincible when they were and like had access to that energy. It's very important to let those people stay in the past. Cause you definitely got some males here that are very much aware of the, the powerhouse energy that you supply for people. And if you're a man watching, same thing goes for you, you men. 
your powerful sexual energy, those feminines be noticing that. They know. Tell me more. Everybody watching your social media here, trying to figure out how to approach. And everybody's watching your social media based off of lies. So you got a bunch of people trying to attack you based on lies. You were hidden in plain sight. God knew what he was doing when he had these people attacking you. He knew what was going on. He had you hidden until he was ready for you to come out in the forefront. And now you're coming out. Now you got people wanting to run. Somebody was expecting to receive you as a gift. That didn't work. Somebody was expecting to receive some kind of gift by, by getting towards you. That didn't work. Oh, yeah. Somebody was planning on being gifted with you, putting you under this underground community. That's where these elites, this secret societies, occults, Illuminati, Freemasons, industry, celebrities, what's where they're all? They're all underground. That's where they do rituals. That's where they unalive people. They sex traffic people. They sell people. They send drugs down there in those tunnels, launder money, sell organs on the black market. They do all kinds of wicked things down underground in these tunnels, and they were planning on putting you there. And this couple is involved. There's a couple that wanted you gone. Here. You can have this female. They're the gift. They're a power supply. They'll they'll per. You can harness their energy. You can do a lot of things with this person. Is what people are saying about you. And they were hoping that they were going to be able to achieve something on the inside, getting somebody to come close to you, in order to come up with this wicked plan against you. But the plan never worked. God's been protecting you, Leo. There it is. I can't make this up. Sexual goddess. Uh huh. Be an acceptance of your body. You've had a lot of people want to like shred your confidence down. Somebody didn't want you to understand how powerful you are. Like you've had people try to strip you of your dignity and your pride. Don't let anybody do that to you. You are standing firm in your power and you look good doing it. Be an acceptance of yourself. Very confident in your power. And boy, do people are very much aware of the sexual energy that you give off. They're noticing. People thought that you was like in a delusional, crazy reality. That's what people wanted to think that, wanted to tell everybody and wanted you to think that because they were projecting it on you. And they were even sending like attacks to make you feel like you're not all there mentally. Guess what? Other people are going through this now. Why you're going towards your inner wisdom. Truly knowing yourself. Trusting your instincts. Very intelligent. Meant for leadership. This is what you've been working on. And some misogynistic men here trying to take take power over you, dominate you. So you've got some men here that didn't want you to step into your power, whether it's past men that you've dealt with and then new energies with the, these misogynistic men trying to come towards you. And there's a female here that didn't want you to stand in your power that's involved with this situation. You step in your power that much more. <coughs> Me. Yep. Somebody wanted to say you're blasphemy. You're not who you say you are. There's no way God with this person. They're covered in tattoos. They've sinned. They've done this. They've done that. Okay. Don't don't throw stones when you live in a glass house type energy because these people that are projecting their hate onto you, I guarantee you that these people are doing some things behind the scenes and they're thumping them Bibles, Bible thumpers. So who's really the blasphemy here? Sending attacks to your home. If these were truly godly, churchy people, they wouldn't be gossiping. They wouldn't be attacking you. They certainly wouldn't be trying to take your life. So you've got some churchy people that think because you've sinned that you're not demon deemable. Is that a word? I'm going to make it a word. You're not deemable to have God by your side, but God has his hand on you. Oh, does he? Your house is protected. Everything's protected. There's something about your energy that's so powerful that you may notice electronics jamming up when you're around, freezing up. You just may notice some supernatural things because of who you are. Some of you, the ones that are being watched when they're trying to attack you in your home, that's what these sick, twisted mother effers do. They'll mess with your electronics. They're watching you. They're, it's, they're sick. Sick in the head. You know, they want to say we're sick in the head, but they're the ones sick in the head. So they be messing with the electronics, trying to make you feel like you're going crazy, but you're not. I wanted you to feel like you're going on a path to nowhere with what you're trying to do here for yourself. But you are, actually. You're going towards your destiny. Everything that you're, you're seeking is seeking you right now. That's why they're panicking. 
These other energies, they're on a path to nowhere. They're on the path to death, jail, or the psych ward because that's what they wanted for you. This is what you're going towards. Your prosperity, your good luck, things turning around in your favor. That's what you got coming towards you. Leo. Bullies. Pathetic, miserable bullies. Paid to attack you. Paid to, to defame your character. If they weren't paid, they, they thought they were going to get paid. So these bullies hate themselves. They're miserable. They're keyboard warriors. They like to hide behind screens. And these are the type of people, they won't say it to your face because they're freaking cowards. Pussies is what they are. Okay? Yeah, I called you pussies because that's what you are. Freaking pussies. All right. Calm down. Tell me more. And we're just, yep, they said dust that off. Don't worry about these haters. We're going to dust that off. All great people have a hate train behind them. You, you ain't doing nothing right if you ain't got a hater on board. So you're doing something right. Tell me more. So I'm phased by what these haters are doing. Talking, talking crap, running their mouth, trying to dig up the past, trying to use your past against you. F what people think. These people are miserable and they have their own hidden skeletons in the closet. So these people need to be prepared for their own skeletons to come out in the process. God's going to make sure that they feel that this embarrassment and this shame that they will try to bring you. These people operate out of their ego. So great fall of the ego-driven people involved here. And you shine that light that much more. Your light irritates their demons. That's why they gossip and that's why they try to take you out. Somebody's trying to get back into your energy. Don't let them back. And this is somebody that still got some bad habits. And this was somebody who was saying things about your bad habits that you used to have at one time. Somebody's not changed their ways. They're still partying and they still have bad habits. Don't let them back in. Karmic friends trying to circle back around. Somebody's having car issues. Somebody's getting a car wreck. People's lives are falling apart for coming for you. There's a man here going broke. There's a man here that's been losing money here. For trying to come at you. Somebody going broke. Somebody's losing out big time here. They should have stayed in their lane here. And if somebody had some kind of business that was trying to attack you and your business, theirs, theirs is going downhill now. Leo. Somebody wants to try to come back and play the victim here, trying to create some mixed signals. Don't let them do that. Tell me more. You're the ecstasy, and everybody is very much aware of this power and this energy that you give off. And especially if you've connected with people in the past sexually, oh, they're aware of it. Don't let them back around. Tell me more. All these people involved are getting their karma. Mm-hmm. You're lining up with your good karma because all that beautiful energy that you've been putting out is now coming back to you. And all of these people that have been putting out hate and misery and gossip and, and death spells and nasty magic. All of that is coming back to them. What goes around comes back around to these people. All that hate, all that dirt that they threw on you only made you grow. You've been staying focused on yourself and you've been finding yourself more and you have grown that much more from this. Wow, these people have cursed themselves. All those hexes, those curses, that dark magic that they've been sending your way. Even speaking on you bad. It's all catching up to these people now. There's a masculine that is trying to bring some kind of clarity to you, but you already know the truth. That's why a masculine is conflicted. Somebody's at their breaking point. There's a masculine at his breaking point because he couldn't break you. You're lining up with your possibilities. And there is somebody mad as hell because somebody is trying to like bring some, like they want to confess. They, they want to make it seem like they're confessing, but they're not. Keep your silence. Somebody's trying to come back around and, and explain why they went silent. But this is somebody that knows that their time is up. They know that they're getting ready to get served their, their karma here. <clears throat> somebody's conflicted. Somebody's trying to figure out how to get back in a second chance here. So don't let them back. Somebody's trying to bring up the good times that you two shared. So we're only making room for new memories. We're not going to stay in the past, stuck in the past with these people trying to circle back around for you. Don't let them back in. So much envy falling around you. God's going to make sure that your enemies see you get everything that they tried to take from you. So 
All right, my beautiful Leo, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love, TC, Sunday.